Okay, the case Mosca and Lynch Walter um, was um, about, so the facts, I guess, of the case. Um, Mosca and 23 other people um, boated or boarded a boat to go fishing <clears throat> um, on off of San Clement Island. And David Lynchwalter was a fisherman fishing off the stern near um, Miss, Mr. Mosca. Um, and anyways, David Lynchwalter's line became um, caught up in some kelp. And um, he was in, uh, unable to detangle and release the line and so he handed it to a deck man when the deck man kind of, um, pulled it in an upward motion and so it kind of sl well it did slingshot um it over and the sinker hit mr mosca's eye and it caused partial vision loss and so then mosca filed a lawsuit and the trial court um dismissed it um based on assumption of risk and so mr mosca appeals it and wallen is the the judge's opinions name i mean the judicial opinions that they talk about and they're talking about how um the slingshot <clears throat> may occurred because of um, the improper technique that was used to free the line, and they said that they kind of tried that. But anyways, um, it was just because of the upward motion that, yeah, that made a slingshot. I don't know what's happening to my voice. <clears throat> and then they discuss like the primary um versus secondary assumption of risk and they talked about different examples um they talked about how there is rock climbing and skating and throwing a disc and baseball and just a whole bunch of different things and they're pretty much saying that the risk um cannot be Well, in rock climbing, they're saying the risk cannot be completely eliminated without destroying the sport itself. So it's just part of these sports like fishing and skating and baseball and throwing a disc. These are risk. There's risk in all of them. Um, and so it's the same type of close proximity like sports and the danger you deal with. Um, and oh, it, it talked about like golfing and golf balls and there's just risk in pretty much everything what is there, what they're saying for all the sports and so um Mosca um talked about like hunting damage and accidents and um how well just it's a special kind of danger, danger like the hunting is because it's like a moral, mortal damage. And so although fishing causes danger, it does not cause like moral danger, you know, like you can't necessarily die from it being shot or something. So anyways, the end of the conclusion of the case was that um, the... Well, they affirm the judgment, so, um, yep, they affirm the judgment of the, the lower court based on the decision, so, um, yeah.